this video. This is example nine of med dosage and we're going to talk about milligrams per kilogram per day. We need to give Seclor 30 milligrams per kilogram per day orally in three separate equally divided doses to a patient weighing 77 pounds. The prepared 75 milliliters of the medication is labeled 125 milligrams per milliliter. How many milliliters would the nurse administer per dose? I'm going to show you two ways in this video. The first way is going to be using dimensional analysis and then the last way will be just a calculator technique of us knowing when to divide versus when to multiply. So we're given this medication 30 milligrams per kilogram and then per day and then we're going to do it in three separate equally divided doses the patient weighs 77 pounds. Well, first of all, 30 milligrams per kilogram, I'll talk about the per day right here in a moment, but 30 milligrams per kilogram, let's write that as a rate, 30 milligrams per one kilogram. Now, since the patient weighs 77 pounds and we're giving 30 milligrams per kilogram, we have two different measurements for weight going on here. We have kilograms and we have pounds. So let's convert this kilogram to pounds with dimensional analysis. 2.2 pounds is the same thing as one kilogram. Now, since we have kilograms at the bottom, we said that 2.2 pounds is the same thing as one kilogram. And notice how I'm writing this. I'm putting the one kilogram up top, 2.2 pounds. These are the same, but I'm putting the kilograms at the top so that we can get rid of the word kilograms. So now what our rate is showing is milligrams per pound instead of milligrams per kilogram. Now our final answer, we're trying to get to mLs. How many milliliters would the nurse administer per dose? Now we're gonna bring back in this day and this three separate equally divided doses right here in a moment. But for now, since we want to get to milliliters, let's see what we have to get rid of. We need to get rid of this milligrams here. And what we do know is that in this prepared 75 milliliters of Seclor, there's 125 milligrams of this medication per milliliter of this 75 milliliters. Let's take this 125 milligrams per milliliter to get rid of milligrams since we have milligrams at the top. I'm gonna put this 125 milligrams at the bottom and that's per one milliliter. Sure, I'm reversing this fraction, but essentially what I'm doing here is getting rid of the word milligrams. So the only word we have left up top is milliliters and we're trying to get milliliters, but what we have now is milliliters per pound. We need to get rid of this pound. So since we have pounds at the bottom, I'm going to take the patient's weight and put it at the top. So we have 77 pounds. And that's not a rate, that's just 77 pounds. So I'm just gonna put this over one to write it as a fraction. And now we have got rid of the word pounds. So if we look at all of these words that we've crossed out and the only word we have left is milliliters. So we can go ahead and multiply this right now and then we'll talk about this per day and three separate equally divided doses. If you multiply your numerators, 30 times one times one times 77, you will get 2,310. Now our denominators, one times 2.2 times 125 times one. That will give you 275. So let's go ahead and divide these now, 2,310 divided by 275, and this will give us 8.4 milliliters. Now, this is not our final answer because we have to read this question carefully. This is how many milliliters the patient's going to get per day because it's per day. However, we're going to give this medication in three separate equally divided doses. And the question says, how many milliliters would the nurse administer per dose? Now, if the question said, how many milliliters would the patient receive throughout the whole day? This would be the answer. But since we're talking about per dose and we're getting three doses of this, let's take that 8.4 and let's divide it by three. This will break it up into three equally divided doses. And 8.4 divided by three is going to be 2.8 milliliters and this is going to be per dose. And that's how we would solve this problem using dimensional analysis. Now for the calculator technique, I do take a different approach here, but it's just a matter of knowing when to multiply versus when to divide. And if this confuses you, you're not alone. It just takes a lot of practice to be able to reason through when to multiply versus when to divide. 
So what we do know is that we're going to give 30 milligrams per kilogram. Well, we see that the patient weighs 77 pounds, and actually if we just divide that by 2.2, this will convert the pounds to kilograms. As a matter of fact, you can see that division going on in this dimensional analysis. We have the 77 up here somewhere in our numerator, and we have the 2.2 pounds somewhere in our denominator. 77 divided by 2.2. Sure, they're not right above and below each other, but it does not matter when you're multiplying fractions. Now, what does this number tell us? This tells us that the patient weighs 35 kilograms. And we're going to give 30 milligrams per kilogram. If the patient weighs 35 kilograms and we're going to give 30 milligrams per kilogram, this means we need to multiply by 30. So this represents 1,050 milligrams of this medication. But this is over the course of the whole day. Now we could bring in the three now if we wanted to, or we can talk about this 125. I want to talk about the 125. The 125 milligrams per milliliters, this represents 125 milligrams in each individual milliliter. Since the patient needs this much over the course of a whole day, and the patient is going to get this many milligrams in each milliliter, if we divide this by 125, there's that 8.4 popping right back up. But remember, this is over the course of a whole day. And now the patient's going to get this in three equally divided doses, and this is going to be our 2.8 yet again. So this is a calculator technique, but notice I'm doing some division, I'm doing some multiplying, and this right here can take a lot of practice. That's why I like focusing on dimensional analysis as well, because if you set it up to cancel out your words correctly, this will lead to the right answer and it will put the numbers in the right spot. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.